hello hello you guys and welcome back to my channel uh, today I have a very exciting although also extremely simple video for you because it is going to be all about my favorite plant which is it's fantastic and it's it's called the Monstera Oblica its common name is the Swiss cheese vine that's right Swiss cheese vine not plant because the Monstera Deliciosa, Monstera, what, Deliciosa, I think is the, the primary one that you guys probably have all heard about. It's huge, it's viral, it's everywhere. If you go to like Instagram or YouTube or anywhere online, everyone's always ranting and raving about the Monstera Deliciosa. Um, and it looks like this. This is a baby one, so there's no split leaves on it, but it will happen. Um, and the reason why I'm making this video is because I feel like it's a lesser known plant that's totally underrated, but also um, one of my subscribers brought it to my attention because she saw it in the background and she was like, what is this? How did you get this? And so it prompted me to make this video. So here we go. So this, my friends, is the Monstera Oblica. Ooh, that's my face. It is so fantastic. It is so beautiful. Um, I love it. And I first found out about this plant quite a couple years ago. I got it over at um, a local hardware store near me called OSH, and I found it just randomly. I had no idea what it was even called at the time. It was like one of my first plants. But I loved how it looked and unfortunately that plant died. I, as much as I tried to take care of it, it died probably within like a month or two or something and I was totally devastated. I had tried to save like a little bit to propagate to grow but it just never produced any leaves and never grew um, and so I was left without my favorite plant for so long. And then this year, finally, like years after the time I first found it, I found it again. And I was just over the moon excited. This time I found it at a small local nursery near where I live. And I kid you not, when I first saw the plant, I literally audibly gasped for air to go to my brain to conceive the fact that I actually found my favorite plant once again. <sighs> I was so excited. I was so, so, so excited. And so I thought that I would share it all with you. Some fun facts about this plant so that if you want to, you can get it. Um, because when I had originally purchased the plant, it was under the wrong name. So that's also one of the reasons why I could never even find it online. It's like this plant ceased to exist. I had some sort of mystical plant that just was not actually a credible plant source or something. I have no idea. So, but as I said, this is the Monstera Oblica. The common name is the Swiss cheese vine. I had known it as the, I think it's like it, the way I had remembered it was the Swiss lace vine or something like that, but that just does not exist anywhere in the cyberverse. Um, other times people call it the split leaf vine. That, it all works, and it's just, it's fantastic. The leaves on this, um, it's a little bit more delicate, a lot more actually delicate than the Monstera Deliciosa that everybody knows. Um, the leaves are super thin, really gentle, and they like medium light. They don't like direct light. They will not be happy. They're also sensitive to overwatering. Um, if you overwater your plant, you will notice some yellowing of the leaves. I don't have that on this one right now because it's my baby and I want to take care of it. Um, but I mean, you know, things happen. You know, you think your plant is thirsty and then all of a sudden it's not. But I guess another thing you should know is that the leaves are tender. Um, they're extremely gentle and so I'm trying to see if I can find any splits for you. Oh, like right here you might be able to see that this kind of is like separated, completely detached from the other leaf itself because even though I don't really hardly touch this plant except for right now and occasional hugs, it does kind of separate a little bit if you tamper with it too much, which I mean, it's not the end of the world, but you know, it might be actually, I don't know. But um, this plant can be trained to climb or dangle down. Right now, I'm kind of having it be, <laughs> I guess, air climbing and dangling down. I'm not sure how I want it to be. 
I just want it to be in its natural happy state. I don't care if it covers my entire floor of the house, I'll take it. Um, but I probably will eventually put him uh, maybe back here where you see the croton plant. And for those of you who have seen my other videos, you'll know that I previously had an Aurelia Ming plant there, but I moved it directly at, in eyesight, actually, right outside this window. I moved him outside because he just was not living its best life back there, so put him outside with some of his other buddies, and so I'll probably put this one up there, actually, right after this video. That would be kind of a nice place for it. Um, Oh, someone's here. And so you want to keep the soil moist on this one, but you don't want to keep it soggy. Um, he loves to be hydrated, just not overly so. And another thing to watch out for is that this is actually super toxic to animals. So if you have any cats or any dogs that you like frequent within the main part of your house, I would just make sure to kind of keep it away from this guy. And the other fun fact that I'm going to leave you guys with is that you can actually propagate this really easily, um, similar to that of a pothos, in the sense that you want to find the little nodes, and I'm going to try and show it to you. You want to find those little darkish nodes and kind of, ah, there you go, and put them into water, as I said, similar to a pothos, and kind of change the water maybe like once every day, once every two days, however often you feel like you need to, just not, don't go a long time for it, because you need both water and oxygen in order for the roots to grow, or you can just stick it directly into soil. It's kind of whatever you prefer. But in any case, I am so happy to share this plant with you guys. I hope you love it just as much as I do because it is such a fantastic, aesthetically pleasing little addition to any home. Um, just make sure not to put it into direct light and make sure to water it to its little heart's content and you know what, next time you're ranting and raving about the Monstera, be like, have you heard of the Monstera Oblica? And then you'll impress all your plant friends and it'll just be the most awesome thing ever. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have some fun ones coming up because I went to a plant convention over at the Cal Palace near San Francisco area and I got some more like edible tree plants and berries that I plan to show you guys about. So stay tuned and I will share that with you and I will talk to you guys later. Thank you.